good morning and a very warm welcome to Beginning the Day with God on Wednesday the 22nd of May. Our opening music this morning was the hymn Immortal Invisible, God Only Wise. Let us pray. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. And teach me your path. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We come now to this morning's reading. The reading comes from St Luke's Gospel, chapter 9, beginning at the 37th verse. The next day, when they had come down from the mountain, a great crowd met Jesus. Just then, a man from the crowd shouted, Teacher, I beg you to look at my son. He is my only child. Suddenly, a spirit seizes him, and all at once he shrieks. It throws him into convulsions until he foams at the mouth. It mauls him and will scarcely leave him. I begged your disciples to cast it out, but they could not. Jesus answered, You faithless and perverse generation, how much longer must I be with you and bear with you? Bring your son here. While he was coming, the demon dashed him to the ground in convulsions. But Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit, healed the boy, and gave him back to his father. And all were astounded at the greatness of God. While everyone was amazed at all that he was doing, he said to his disciples, Let these words sink into your ears. The Son of Man is going to be betrayed into human hands. But they did not understand this saying. Its meaning was concealed from them so that they could not perceive it. And they were afraid to ask him about this saying. An argument arose among them as to which one of them was the greatest. But Jesus, aware of their inner thoughts, took a little child and put it by his side, and said to them, Whoever welcomes this child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me, for the least among all of you is the greatest. John answered, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him, because he does not follow us. But Jesus said to him, do not stop him, for whoever is not against you is for you. Thanks be to God. We come now to this morning's reflection. Jesus is often frank, bordering on rude even. To the people closest to him. He is brusque with his mother at the wedding in Cana, and here he is pretty excoriating, you faithless and perverse generation, is directed at his disciples, the ones who have given up everything to be with him. This isn't Jesus meek and mild at all. This is the urgent, disciplined voice of one who knows there is never much time and that so much is wrong in the world. At moments like this, the personality of Jesus of Nazareth becomes evident, alongside the more gentle exchanges with the people he encounters. But there's more than this too, given the theological reflections necessary for understanding the full meaning of the life of Christ facing crucifixion, 
and anticipating resurrection too. This urgency and truth-telling reveals not only the earthly life of the prophetic nomadic healer Jesus, but also reveals the nature of God in the world, when the reality of the fracturedness of life becomes real in the life of a human being, like this person, clearly suffering and disturbed by a condition unnamed and unknown. The dual meaning of this urgent and forthright intervention is captured by verses 43 and 44. All were astounded at the greatness of God and amazed by Jesus. They are in this incident, as in the whole Christ event, the same thing. Amen. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. O Lord our God, grant us grace to desire you with our whole heart, that so desiring we may seek and find you, and so finding may love you, and so loving may hate those sins from which you have delivered us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May God grant to the world justice, truth and peace. Amen. Amen.